just a quick little update on where we're at with our aquarium after adding in some of these um, ORA, biota corals, I forget exactly which one, but we got them through Algae Barn, Micronesia, um, torches, I think. Yeah, it's feeding time right now, so the food's slowly dissolving, and these guys are the best of friends all hanging out. What I really wanted to show though was tank's not perfect. I gotta scrape off some of the glass and all that, but oh my goodness, what a difference this UV sterilizer has made. You got a lot going on under the tank. Probably overkill for sure, but it's taken me to this point to be able to get what I'm gonna say is relatively crystal clear water. So if you do buy one of these, make sure you test, test, test. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Um, yeah, everything's going pretty good. Probably gonna have to try to re-dip this coral I got from um, Top Shelf Aquatics. Not sure exactly what's going on there. Um, everything that I have in here is from either Algae Barn or Top Shelf Aquatics. That guy is pretty cool. Some of these have really started to take off. I've been watching it through my Neptune system and they actually do, you can actually see where they have finally gotten to the place of um, where they are consuming some, uh, I'll say considerable nutrients. Um, couple of like the mushroom types. I did not know what that was when I got it because that was the first coral I ever put in. Probably wouldn't have put it there, but it'll be fine for now. This guy finally starting to come out again. Um, really like these urchins I got from Algae Barn. And this guy back here, my favorite hammer coral. Favorite coral in general, I think. Finally feels good though to start being able to compete back against some of just the algae, the cyano that was all over the place. Um, I didn't really show that in any of the past videos, but um, got some coralline growing. Changing out the filter socks a lot, trying to drop the, um, trying to drop the phosphates and nitrates pretty aggressively. This guy right here is like some sort of a splatter Frommer or something like that. I really like this guy too. Both of those are from Top Shelf Aquatics. Um, the only disappointment I had was I just was trying to figure out this SPS coral. He broke off of the frack plug while we were gone on Christmas break and uh, I found him on the bottom of the bed. Hopefully I'm trying to save him. So I stuck him back on the frack plug. And I think that it was just maybe a bad glue job before. Um, anyways, lots going on back in there. We still got our friend Jacques. Hard to see, he doesn't want to come out during the day. One of the coolest things I did see today though were these sand conks. Flipped on his back and I watched him um, flip himself upright. That was so cool. Oh hey, there's our other urchin. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. If you wanna know how much I got in this tank, it's uh, embarrassing how much money has been spent on all things from Algae Barn, Bulk Reef Supply, just between, I mean, these these dollars just add up so quick. Uh, I'll try to get later down the series some things that maybe I would do, not do over again. Um, but I think I, you know, I've sunk a ton of money into it. And uh, hopefully with just some good maintenance, I can get, I can keep it, keep it going. Cause I'm at the place now where I really um, don't want to add a whole bunch more in. Maybe a six line RAS to help with any um, bugs that I didn't get or any, you know, stuff I didn't get off of the, anything I didn't get off with and during the dips. But um, yeah, really just want to sit back and enjoy it. Maybe some more of the SPS type corals for up here in the in the brighter you know light that I've got um but my wife has seen me throw tons of time energy money 
into this thing and I've told her, yeah, it's, it's to the point now where let's just enjoy it. Um, realistically, this tank, how much do you got in it? Let's just say five grand or more. Um, definitely more. And you know, these fish, livestock has been, you know, pricey, but uh, stuff just adds up and you keep getting one problem after the other, hoping that uh, that UV sterilizer and uh, the last piece of gear that I do have that I'll show when it comes in, the Fiji Cube, they had some pre-order for the fleece rollers. So I'm gonna give that a try. And um, that will help me with my last step of automation. So when I go out of town, I won't feel bad. And I feel, I'll feel confident that the tank will keep going well. I'll let you guys know what I think of it and how it works. Uh, best of luck. Take care.